Thank you. Um, let's get to the power rankings, yes. folks. Yes. It's time to rank the ball clubs. Coming in at number 10, we got the San Diego Padres, 85 and 68. Uh, I mean, they're still there. They're doing it. They're not excelling really at anything. Juan Soto's been kind of bad. But you still got Manny Machado being the lead at stuff. And I definitely wouldn't write them off completely. Although, I, I don't necessarily love their postseason chances. Yeah, I mean, they kind of... They actually remind me of like a lesser us right. over there in the NL. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, they might go... They might be done in the wild card series. It's and possible. I just wouldn't be surprised. It's possible. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be surprised. Up against Atlanta. It's, yeah, that's where they're positioned right that's, now. That is that's the thing. A, yeah, gone. it's it's yeah. tough. It's gonna be a tough one for sure. But like, you know, don't don't totally sleep on them. Yeah, yeah. Number nine is the Tampa Bay Rays. I think they dropped a little bit from last week's ranking, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they um, did. Uh, they are good. Uh, they're good. And and what I wrote down here was home field advantage. Like I think it really put in perspective for me. Like how much better they are at home mm -hmm. than they are away. And that's good, but coming into postseason where you are right now, it, you're not really going to be at home a whole lot, right? Like, if you were number one in all of the AL, maybe you'd be yeah. higher on these rankings, yeah. because then I'm like, oh, shit, we got everyone's going to have to go through there. Like, the road to the World Series yeah. is through Tropicana, but it's just not. It's so, not. And, and they haven't been doing that good as of late, and obviously they're lower than we are because they were four and six in the last ten, and we just, we, we literally, again, like you said, oh, they have a good home field advantage. Oh, we split. We split. And, and then the week before, we beat you. Right. So it's like, okay, well, you then you don't deserve it. Like, you are the secondary team to the Toronto Blue Jays, mm -hmm. you little son, son of a guns. That's right. That's we can officially right. say that. We're better than the Rays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's, again, let's knock on the wood, everyone. We're getting, yeah, getting a little ahead of ourselves. Not a game still to play, but, like, for right now, anyways, we're doing pretty good. Uh, number eight is the Cleveland Guardians. Yeah. Uh, I wrote down here WTF 86 dubs because, like, I, that came out of nowhere for me. Dude. I just, I actually just kind of glossed over the AL Central whenever I looked at the standings. Yeah. I just didn't really look at it because it was always like Twins and Guardians for a bit. But I guess the last month has just been Cleveland, Cleveland, dude, Cleveland. Dude, dude, they've Man, been taking nuts. off. Yeah, like they have a 10 game lead over the White Sox. Remember, like two weeks ago, it was like three games. That's the thing. Now yeah. it's 10 games. Yeah, yeah. And, and they're hot. Like I said before earlier in this show, Stephen Kwan, player of the week. They're pitching. Is elite, yeah. so they're actually you know not an easy cakewalk anymore. No, they're, no. they're a team to be feared. Definitely in the not. They're they are getting hot at the right time. Exactly. So there you go. Number eight. Number seven is the Toronto Blue Jays. There we are. Now we haven't lost a single series since August twenty. That's crazy. That's nice. All of September has either been a tie or either been a W for the Blue Jays as That's far great. as series goes. That's what I like to see when yep. we go into postseason. It's hard to get knocked out when you're not losing series. Exactly. You know, actually, it's kind. Of fucking impossible. Exactly. So and that's nice. And hopefully we lock down that wild card spot, pick up some W's, you know, especially against the Yankees, Boston, and Baltimore. We got to be able to do that. Yeah. Uh, number six is the St. Louis Cardinals. Now they're actually a little bit colder as of recently. Yeah. Eight and nine in their last seventeen. Mm. So I was on the verge of like putting us ahead of them. I didn't end up doing that because yeah. I mean, like, I still kind of like yeah. them a bit more than us. But it's something to note. You know, it's yeah. like if they continue to struggle, like I'm not as high on them going into postseason as I was a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. But I still trust their team. They got a great lineup, great pitching staff, and I think they're going to do some magic, especially in that wild card series. Because right now they're matched up, uh, match up against Phillies or be San Diego. Like it's going to be one of the two. Yeah. And I think they can easily handle them. For sure, for sure. Number five is the New York Yankees. Arguments can once again be made for them to be higher on this list because they've they're won hot. 15 out of their last 19. They're hot now. Obviously, Aaron Judge. You know, he's on that freaking hunt right now to get to that magical number, break the Yankees record. It's all well and good in Yankee land, and uh, and hopefully they don't annihilate us this week. Dude. Yeah, I, I got a good feeling they might because yeah, they're on a seven-game win streak right now. They're very it's good. It's scary. Yeah, they're very very good. Number four is the Atlanta Braves. I finally caved. The Mets are higher than them. They're number three, so that's oh, what's happening right damn. now. Uh, literally, <laughs> what it was for me was uh, Spencer Strider on the IL. Yeah, He's they lost him. Gone. That's a big. That's definitely big a big loss. L, you know. And and the fact that it's like we are getting closer, guys. If you're gonna win that division, like it's yeah. now. Yep. So yep. like I just dropped him. It's about time. Yeah. But, like. The still best still, wild, best wild very card good. Uh, team. At very MLB. very good. Yeah, Atlanta <laughs> Braves. Very very good. And Spencer Strider, I think, should be back for postseason. Yeah, that's, the word. It, yeah. that's like yeah. that should be what's going on there. But definitely something to monitor. Mm -hmm. And once again, New York Mets number three. Mm -hmm. They're really good and awesome. Yo, you hear the rumors? Uh, Jacob Degrom, Texas Rangers. 
off season, gonna opt out, could go to Texas. Oh wow, is Possibly. he from Texas? I don't know, but there was a big article about it. I know that Ball Cap did a video oh. on it. Robbie Hyde did a video on it recently. It's like I kind of missed it at the time, but it's like apparently somebody was writing a speculative article and like who knows, maybe it could happen. Oh man, I mean like it's possible. I mean. It's possible. Nothing, it is possible. It is impossible. possible. You know, Texas would be the team. They lost out on Kershaw. Let's just go get us some Jacob DeGrom instead. <laughs> what is that team? It's <laughs> ridiculous. It's completely ridiculous. If you want to get paid, you go to Texas. You go to Texas. <laughs> Number two is the Houston Astros. 101 Ws for the Astros. Not wow. a whole lot to say there. Not even going to hang on to this for very much longer. Uh, no. Because number one is the uh, LA Dodgers. Yeah. They have 106 Ws. And what, what really blew me away was not even the, the Ws that they have, but it was the fact that they have 47 losses. And I think just like looking at that number That's like crazy. put it in perspective for me like wow it's like they haven't even lost 50 games yet no. you know like no. that that's kind of dumb and they and they might not oh my god i'm literally looking at their schedule they already have the end like they have it all here because yeah. they're all locked in but they might not because look they have san diego for three games and then they have colorado for, for oh my five. god six. six one two three four six games they might not. They might not lose a lose. single more game. They, they might, might literally they might not lose out. fifty games. Yeah, because it's like they got they got nine more there, and uh, and six of them are against Colorado. a team that's not even remotely close to thinking oh about baseball. Oh my god, they're gonna win. Um, they could win a hundred and. 112, 113, yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, wow. 100%. 100%. This is a very good <laughs> ball team right now, man. Like, this is a really good ball club. So uh, they're obviously number one, guys. Uh, bet on them to win the World Series. Yeah. It, it will probably pay off. Yeah.